Hello and welcome to Zabwatch TV. Today on Zabwatch TV, we're looking at 2014 June um, BECE question. Uh, if you've not subscribed yet, kindly subscribe to the channel. And let's get straight into it. Click on the notification, like and share. Now, uh, uh, these ICT questions are not given to students to uh, students after the paper. The papers are taken away, but uh, we we'll find our way out to get the questions and. Uh, I want us to look at it, so stay glued to your seat and let's discuss these questions. Now, um, the first diagram, that's the practical side of it. It says that um, uh, we should look at this diagram, solve question on it, but it's asking what application is used uh, for the figure above. This is Microsoft Excel, so MS. Excel, you get your marks and you go away. Now the next one says write uh, the formula function used to calculate D7. Now where is D7? D7 is here. Okay, D7 is here. Now it's this one minus this one that gives us the D7. Okay, so it's B2 minus what uh, C2. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, sorry, B, uh, it's B7 rather, B7 minus C7. So, it's it right equal to B7 minus uh, C7, okay? Now, the next one, it says, write a formula function to calculate C. We are calculating the expenses for C7. So, let's go to where C7 is. C7 is here, okay? This side is C7. So, it's addition of this 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 that is c3 yes c3 to c5 okay so c7 will be equal to so c7 will be equal to c3 plus c4 plus c5 then that that give us up to yes plus c5 okay mm -hmm. that is the answer now the next one says that um we should label the part uh, a b and c now let's move to uh, let's go to the diagram and look at um, A. So let's see. Our A is uh, our name box. That is where when you select um, when you select a, um, a cell, that's where the name of the name of the box and the name of the cell comes. So that is name box. Okay. Now B. Let's look at B. B is our um, formula bar. Whatever you type, it goes there. So it's a formula bar. Formula bar. And our C, let's go to, let's go back up and see, look at our C. Our C is our work area. You can say work area or you can say it's the worksheet. Okay. So it's the work sheet. So that's where we are working, right? Now you say we should complete the table. We should, we should um, we have a table to complete and say name the window button. So this one is close. This one is minimize. This one is um, maximize. Okay. Maximize and this one is restore. Restore. Okay. Now we are told to click uh, one function. Okay. So this the close ends the application okay it ends the application the 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 minim the minimize drop the window to the tax bar so drop the window to the tax bar okay then this one also enlarges the window from the tax bar so enlarge the window from the the tax bar, okay. And the last one it says return to the size of the window, like uh, before the customer. So you see, you can open a big window and you can resize it, right? Uh -huh. So when you click on it, it's return to the previous size. So return to the previous size of the window. 
That's all. That's all. And um, uh, they are asking what command uh, is it in in a word processing application. What is the command button print preview for? What is it used for? Now it shows exactly what you get when printed. Okay, so it shows exactly. What to get when printed? Then you are done with the practicals. Now let's go to the B side. It says that we should um, state the data type for the following characters as used in spreadsheet application. Now, if we have 13.36 in spreadsheet, this means value. Okay, it's a value. Okay, now uh, 24.04 and with uh, an apostrophe. This is a label. Please let's take note. And this one, I, 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 equal to sum a column five. That one is a function. Function, please. This is a function. And we have this a, a that equals a4 plus c, uh, c4 minus g25. And that is a formula. A formula, okay. Then the last one again is also a value. So that is it. That is all the I expecting from you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then they said the next one. The, the next question said that formatting a disk referring to uh, uh, erasing everything to factory setting, erasing all data, uh, erasing all data. Okay. So erasing. Erasing all data. Okay, that's all. You can just write erasing all data, or you can say um, uh, restoring the disks to factory settings. Okay, that's all. You, you get your marks. And they said, um, um, Two toggle keys, two toggle keys on the standard computer keyboard. Toggle keys, uh, a key that when you press, it changes things. Okay, now cap caps lock is one. Caps lock when you press, it changes from small letters to capital letters. Now num lock, it it can off the uh, it can off the number if you type it on come and can bring it on. Now we also have scroll lock. Okay, so these are the toggle keys we have. Now, we are asked to write a feature, three features of a web browser. So, in a web browser, you can get a search bar. You can get a print button. Someone would like to print the page of a, a, a web browser. We can also have a stop button. Yes, yeah, stop button. Okay. So, these are some of the features of it. And you are asked to write two components of a central uh, um, uh, central processing unit. Now, component we have ELU, ELU that arithmetic and logical and logic unit. We have CU, CU that the control unit. We also have the uh, uh, probably we have the CPU. Or you, you can just leave this and this. That's all. Then you go your way. You get you get your mouse and you go. Now you said two operating system. Now operating system we have a lot. Okay, Microsoft, um, Windows, Microsoft Windows is one of them. Let's write Windows. Let's write uh, Linux. Linux is also one. It's also a, a window. We also have Android. Even Android is one. Okay. They are all operating systems, okay, and many more. Then we have um, the Z uh, three health hazards associated with prolonged use of computer tools. Okay, we can you can have an eye problem if um, we are using the computer too much. That's the reflection of the light ray in your eye. You can get an eye problem. You can get back ache. Okay, 
you can you can get ear problem if you are listening too much if you have earpiece in your ears and you are listening and listening you can get a uh, get a uh, ear problem uh, you can also get cancer okay a lot a lot of them neck ache neck ache can be one neck ache can be one okay so the the fourth question says that we should um, give examples of a typing software okay a software that helps typing or teaches typing okay and the common one we know is Mavis Beacon Mavis Beacon teaches typing we also have a live typing tutor live typing tutor you can these two is, is, is you can have also have mic typing software you can have a uh, rapid typing we can have type typing master pro we can have uh, type smart typing tutor a lot of them there's plenty of them okay okay so we, they said um they said certain books are published both in hard copies and soft copies give two reasons uh, give two reasons for using a uh, hard copy so if the book is on hard copy why uh, are we using hard copy now this one can be hard copy can be used without any uh, we don't have to get any electronic device, okay? Mm -hmm. So can be used can be used without an electronic device, okay? And can also say can be can be accessed and used without electricity, okay? So can be used without electricity okay so this two is better now let's go to the soft format so it said it is cheaper mostly the soft copies are cheaper okay and the, the price are down than the um uh, hard copies and also it can be it can be read okay it can be read in dark places because maybe it's on the phone, it's on the laptop, it doesn't care whether uh, uh, where you are, you can read it. It's also versatile, okay? It's also versatile. It's also versatile. So any any of these two can also work with it. Now it said arrange. It said we are supposed to arrange um, the storage devices. So we have compact disk, hard disk, pen drive in descending order, okay? And uh, they'll give you how you are arranging it. So when we are assessing access speed, how are we going to uh, arrange it? And when, well, when it comes to storage capacity, how we are going to arrange it? So let's finish with the storage capacity first. So the capacity, the, the biggest first, right? So hard disk, that one, they have big, big uh, spaces. Before maybe you can have pen drive. Okay. Pen drive and the last one you have compact decks. So these are the order. To access speed, access speed I think is the same thing. So we can have our hardest first. Mm -hmm. Pen drive and also compact decks. So then when it comes to speed, hardest is faster than pen drive. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now. They said, um, state the purpose of the following command on an email application such as Yahoo or Gmail. If you see my account, what's the purpose? Okay, so it keeps private records. So, keeps private records such as email. Uh, message sent, etc., and also compose to to create a new message. Okay, or let's mail to be sent. You can say mail 
should be sent after creating you send it so maybe mail to be sent attach attach is when you want to add something to uh the image uh, the, the message that you have created right so to add a document or picture to a composing message okay to a composing message now sign up sign up is to register for the i uh, have the first time okay, of an email application so or to create an, a new email account simple so to create a new email account that is where you see sign up so that is all for uh, 2014 BEC ICT and uh, thank you very much for watching this video as well I'm so grateful you joined me for this discussion thank you very much there are more coming kindly subscribe if you have not click on the notification icon thank you very much I'm out